friends, before we start today's episode, I have some news for you. We have added a new member in our cutesy bootsy family called Baby Binox, which is basically a smaller version of your beloved friend, that is, me. So, do not forget to watch the Baby Binox show to make it a hit. The link is in the description. Now, let's get started with your favorite show. <laughs> no, kitty, don't touch that. Oh, did you wash your hands? So, please go and wash them, little kitty. Hey, friends, we all know the importance of washing our hands with warm soapy water before we eat. It not only prevents any illness and infection, but is also the best defense against the creepy, grossy parasite known as pinworms. Yes, in today's episode, let us learn about a common condition a lot of kids go through and explore the best defense against attack of the pinworms. Zoom in! Pinworm infection, also known as enterobiasis, is an intestinal disease caused by a tiny pin-shaped worm called pinworms. It is a very common condition infecting millions of people, especially school-age kids. And if you are one of them, the chances are that you might have had pinworms at some point. Although pinworms are nothing to be worried about, they are extremely irritating to have and are gross to look at. Oh, sorry. Uh, you are beautiful, my friend. <clears throat> but what causes pinworm infection in the first place? Well, pinworm eggs can be found anywhere in your surrounding, including your clothes, bed sheets, and toys. They are so small that it is impossible to see with a naked eye and can be only seen with a microscope. And when someone accidentally touches the contaminated object, the eggs get the opportunity to enter inside their body. Once inside, these eggs make their way through the digestive system and hatch in the small intestine. And when the baby worms grow a bit with time, they leave the place and migrate to the larger intestine, where they turn into hungry and mean parasites. And after a few weeks, the lady pinworms travel to the end of the large intestine and creepily crawl out of the body at night to lay their eggs around the rectum, waking you up due to itchy sensation. Also, there are chances that the next day, you might find it in your underwear or in the toilet. In that case, you must immediately inform your parents. Trivia time! Did you know, pinworm spreads easily from person to person and is approximately three times more common than head lice? Also, you won't believe, but pinworm eggs are so light in weight that a few may even end up in the air, where they could be swallowed when you inhale. However, the chances of that happening are pretty low. So, don't worry. Be happy and breathe fully. It's question time! What is the other name for pinworm infection? Do write your answer in the comments section below and hit the like and subscribe button if you haven't yet to be a part of the Peekaboo Kids cutesy Vootsy family and get a chance to get it featured by the end of our videos. So, here are the winners of the previous episode. Remember my friends, pinworms can be found anywhere and the easiest way to keep them away is to wash your hands with water before you eat, after you play outside and after you use the toilet. And make sure that you keep your fingernails short and tidy. And no matter what happens, please avoid scratching around your bottom and biting your nails. Hope you enjoyed today's episode. Until next time, it's me Dr. Binox 
Zooming out. Ah, never mind. Hey kids, you liked my videos, didn't you? Before you go, don't forget to click on the subscribe button and the bell. So you won't miss out on my latest videos. <laughs> See you.